Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a Bohemian mother of three beautiful children. I've been married my whole adult life to my um, best friend, and I'm also a school safety officer. What motivated me to become a school safety officer is that I took criminal justice in college, and I love the idea to protect and serve my community. And although I did not become a police officer, I became a school safety officer with LAUSD because I love the idea of protecting our students. The, um, mostly my job is to look for things that may be a safety hazard for our students. We want to keep the students protected, so whether it's personal threat or physical threat, like something not being safe, my job is to survey the grounds and make sure that everyone is safe. Um, I always worked for LAUSD and I worked at what, Los Angeles High School. I also worked at Manual Arts High School, Lexine Waters, Bennett Skill Center, and um, LeConte Middle School. <laughs> yeah. It's very much like going through the police department, actually, because LAUSD has its own school, school police, and we have to go through the same background checks, psychological testing, and of course we had to do, um, you know, your regular basic testing, and it's like a six to nine month process to get hired for this position. Yeah. What I like the least about my job is I feel that people underestimate the intellect of a security person. People are very condescending. I don't know if I should say that or not, but, the, and um, sometimes you don't like being an enforcer and seeing the bad things, I think, sometimes. One of the things that really stick with me was a young man was getting high and he started banging his head against the asphalt and the wall. And I could see him about to do permanent damage to his life. And the kids, other kids around him were just laughing and encouraging him. And that always stuck with me that that happened. And one of the other things that always bugged me was um, it was a young man and he was a tall, big sized guy, but he was a very gentle guy. And he got picked on a lot at school and he finally decided to protect himself and he brought brass knuckles to school. And so that turned out to be a lethal weapon. And after all those years of getting bullied, he's the one that got in trouble. And those are two incidents that always stick with me because that changed those two young men's life. The mine was this young man, and he was a very quiet, unassuming guy. And one day I just decided to sit down and talk to him and found out he was a high-ranking officer with the, res what you say, Israel um, Army. And because he had to start at 18, and he was in his 20s, and he was already a high-ranking officer. And it was so interesting talking to him because at his age, Kids in America looking for the next party. Um, I would say reading is my passion. I love reading. You will always find me with a book or, uh, I just love reading. I love the feel of books. I just love the interaction with um, reading. And I'm also a writer. And my newest hobby has been making homemade soap. <laughs> you know, you may not always have a comfortable life and things may not be going the way that you want them to go. But remember, you cannot, you're not going to solve the world problem, but, but just staying inspired, just staying true to your course, staying true to who you are is going to make that difference. And I just sometimes wish the students could see the light that I see in them. I see such special gifts and so much light in so many of the students and they're allowing themselves to be, to be taken off their course. And I wish they would only choose people that would inspire them and build them up and encourage them to be who they truly were meant to be. And on your darkest days, I just wish I could just get you to see what I see and you see that light that I see. Well, actually, I don't believe in bucket lists. I believe in living life to the fullest. And if you get that opportunity to achieve one of your dreams and your goals, go for it.